Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is a reviewing past year chemistry exam questions for year 2022. Multiple choice questions. This paper consists of 40 questions, but I split it into two parts. Part one consists of 20 questions and part two will be subsequent questions. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one. Diagram of the three states of matter for carbon dioxide are shown. Number one, number two, and number three. Which two diagrams show the state of matter before and after the sublimations of carbon dioxide? Explanation A few solids such as carbon dioxide, dry ice, do not melt when they are heated at normal pressure, instead they turn directly into gas. This change of state is called sublimation. So from the diagram 3 become diagram 1. From solid, a few solid and such as carbon dioxide and turn into gas, which is diagram number 1. A student measure the time taken for 2 grams of magnesium to dissolve in 50 centimeter cube of dilute sulfuric acid, which apparatus is essential to complete the experiment. The answer is number one, which is stop clock, and option two, which is measuring cylinder, and also we must have a balance. So the answer is A. Which method is used to separate a mixture of the following liquids? So during the liquid, methanol and the boiling point is 64.5, ethanol 78.5, propanol 97.2, and butanol is 117. So this process, this method, is used to separate a mixture of the following liquids during the fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is used to separate any solution containing liquids with different boiling points. All ethanol has distilled over at the temperature of 78.5 Celsius, only then rise to 100 Celsius during fraction and two liquids can be collected separately. Number four, which substance should be pure for the intended use? So the answer should be a drug for curing disease. And which row identify any alloy, a pure metals and a non-metal? So the answer should be B, which is brass, copper, and carbon. And information about the structure of three atoms, X, Y, and Z, is shown. Atom X having the proton number 1, nuclear number 1, Y, proton number 1, nuclear number 2, and Z, proton number 1 and nuclear number three. So which statements about atoms at YZ are correct? First statement, they are isotope of the same element. Yes. And also it contain the same number of electron. Yes. If you can see from the formula, number of electron is the same as number of proton. So you can see here, the number of proton for X, Y, Z, which is 1, 1, 1. And nuclear number is actually... Uh, nuclear number is actually a mass number, which is number of proton plus number of 
neutron. And to get the number of neutron is actually mass number minus proton number, which is 2 minus 1, 3 minus 1 equals to 2. And then uh, each shell contains fixed number of electrons and the first shell can hold up to two electrons and the two shells can hold up up to eight electrons, which is they contain one occupied electron shell. So the answer is one, two, and four. And one, two, and four, and the answer is A. Okay, let's look into number seven. What happened to an atom when it become an ion with a change of positive one? So, refer to chapter three, as we already learned, an example of sodium atom, after losing one electron, and positive ion is performed. So, meaning that it loses an electron. It means that it losing an electron, so positive ion is performed. And the relative atomic mass A of an element is determined by comparing the mass of one atom of the elements with the mass of one atom of element Q. What is Q? So to answer this, let's look into the explanation. Refer to chapter 5, Masses and Moon. At present, carbon strength is used as a standard of comparison. Reason being is mass can easily measure with mass spectrometer. So in addition, carbon 12 atom is 12 times heavier than hydrogen. So the answer is A, which is carbon. And which equations for the decomposition of calcium nitrate is correct. So you can see that, uh, let's look into the example given here. It's referred to chapter four, chemical formula and e equations. So let's say you have um, two Ca and O32. So you can see two C and A means that calcium two atoms, and natrium consists of 2 times 2, which is natrium 2 times 2, which, which is 4 atoms. And oxygen is actually uh, 6. Th 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 6 multiplied by 2 is become 12 atoms. And when you can see from the right-hand side, 2 Ca means that 2 calcium, 2 atom calcium. And oxygen, you have about 2 atoms. Plus 4N, 4N here, and then oxygen is actually 2 multiplied by 4 is become an 8. And then plus O, 2 atom of oxygen. To simplify, it consists of Ca, 2 atoms, same, N is equal to 4, which is 4 atoms, and oxygen equals to 12 atoms. Is the same as on the left hand side, which is consist of 12 atoms. So the answer is D. The diagram shows the electrolysis of concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated aqua sodium chloride using carbon electrodes. So at which electrodes in hydrogen produce? Let's look into the explanation. Refer to chapter 7, electrochemistry, metal, hydrogen are form and negative, means that electron cathode. Okay, means that here, 2 and 4. Because ions moving toward negative electron are positively charged, opposite charge attract. So the answer for this is 2 and 4, which is D. Okay. And then overhead power cables made from steel core, coated aluminum are used to carry electricity over long distance. Which property of steel core aluminum make it suitable for use in power cable? So in order for the power core, power core aluminiums to make it suitable to use in power cable, it must have a low density. The answer is A. 
and which role identify a chemical change and a physical change. So explanation, ethanol molecules evaporate from the container of ethanol and enter the bottom of the flame. Evaporation is a physical change that transforms liquid into gas. When ethanol evaporates and its molecule structure remains the same. So the answer is during chemical change burning ethanol and it's actually during the physical change is become evaporating of ethanol. So the answer is B. And the equation for the reaction when hydrogen is used as a fuel is shown two hydrogen plus oxygen to become two H2O. So this is the answer, the explanation referred to chapter 10, chemical energetic exothermic reaction release heat energy. It means that it release heat energy causing the temperature of the immediate surrounding to rise. So the answer it should be D. The reaction is exothermic and so the temperature of the surrounding increases D. And number 14, which fuel release carbon dioxide when burning? So gasoline contains carbon and hydrogen atom. During combustion, the carbon from the fuel combine with oxygen from the air to produce carbon dioxide. And methane burns to give off carbon dioxide and water. So the answer in this um, answer is 1 and 3, which is B. And water is added to embryo's copper 2 sulfate. What happened during the reaction? The copper 2 sulfate turned blue and the solution form gets water. So Andrew's copper sulfate get hydrated and turn blue on additions of a few drops of water and the solution form gas water. And excess magnesium ribbon is reacted with a fixed volume of hydrochloric acid and the volume of gas given off over time is measured. So the result of two different experiments are shown. One is a reaction, first reaction, which is increasing in terms of volume of gas given off. And as compared to the reaction two, where the volume of gas given off is lesser than the reaction one. So which statement explain the differences between the result of the two experiments? So the answer given here is a reaction one uses a catalyst. So but if you can see the reaction one is faster or the gas release is higher as compared to the reaction two. So it must have is uses a catalyst in order you can see the, the differences in terms of the, ex, uh, the reaction. And which products are formed when magnesium hydroxide react with hydrochloric acid? So refer to chapter 8, acid bases and oxide. The reaction between magnesium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid is an example of neutralization reaction. And the hydroxide and hydrogen ions were combined to form water. And the remaining ion combined to produce the salt of neutralization, which is the salt neutralization is actually magnesium chloride. So the output of products that perform uh, during the reaction magnesium hydro hydroxide with the hydrochloric acid is the magnesium chloride and water only. And number 18, the oxide of two elements X and Y are separately dissolved in water and the pH of each solution tested. Oxide tested, we have X produce pH 1 and Y produce pH 13. So which information about X and Y is correct? So the answer is B. Number 19, an acid is neutralized by adding an excess of an insoluble solid base. And a soluble salt is formed, referred to chapter 9, making salt. 
adding acid to an insoluble base requires a filtered process than adding acid to metal, which require filtration, evaporation, and leads to crystallize. So the answer will be D. So it is actually consists of three uh, process. And finally, number 20, three separate samples of an aqua compound T are tested. So the result of the test are shown. SD5 with dilute nitric acid. During the observation, it produced white precipitate. Then add aquas barium nitride, what will happen? So, what is T? T means that what is the observation after adding aquas barium nitride? So, the answer is zinc sulfate. Uh, so, when it add aquas ammonia, it becomes white precipitate, soluble in excess. And as a conclusion, add aqua sodium hydroxide. It becomes white precipitate and soluble in excess. So the, the, the answer for number 20 would be zinc sulfate. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study. And please subscribe to Jom Study Law YouTube channel. And follow me at Jom Study Law Instagram. The customized notes are available at the current page. And to be access to this uh, customized note, you have to click the link at Instagram, at Jomstadula Instagram, to access to the beacon page. Thank you very much.